This is the time of year when there are flies in the orchard. And they're going to come and lay claim to your face, your skin. Of course, you're going to lay claim back. And that's what a lot of the trouble is. Remember, the skin is just skin. It's made out of elements, earth, water, wind, fire. You've laid claim to it, now you don't want anybody else to touch it without your permission. And then these flies come up and without asking you, they, they just land right there. Well, they have no idea that it's yours, so they're not, they're not intentionally irritating you. In fact, you're the one who's irritating the sensation by your comments on it. So think about this when the flies land. That's, they can land wherever they want, and for the time being, you're not going to lay claim to that spot. You've got other sensations in the body that you can focus on, sensations that are more comfortable, sensations that are more refreshing. So you focus there, and they can have have the skin. This is a good lesson in learning how to use not self as a as an aid to concentration. Often we hear that the work of discernment comes after the concentration, but it actually helps in the process. When pains come up, you have to realize okay, this is a normal part of living in a fabricated body. It's not that they have to ask your permission, and they're, they're certainly not trying to do anything harmful to you. It's just that they're there. It's, it's your own moving in and laying claim that was the problem. So if you can let go of that claim, at least for the time being, you find it's a lot easier for the mind to settle down. The same with mental pains, that you can focus on them or you can choose not to focus on them. Some things come from your past karma, you're not going to be able to do much about that. But what you can do is learn how not to get involved right now. This way you'll use your discernment to help with your concentration. This is one of John Munn's insights, that things don't start just with virtue, and then you have to wait till your virtue is totally clean, and then you can do concentration, and only when your concentration is really good then you do discernment. All three of these things work together. The virtue of truthfulness helps with your concentration. The virtue of harmlessness helps. And then the discernment that comes from learning how to look at things in the right way, that can help with your virtue and concentration as well things you're afraid of losing if you tell the truth, well, you realize okay, they were not really yours to begin with. They're not, certainly not worth holding on to by telling lies. So that's how discernment helps with your virtue. So all three of these things help one another along. Make sure that you're practicing them as you practice, practice in the course of the day. It's not just concentration. Some discernment has to go into that in whatever way it helps to get the mind to calm down.